today we are in Daytona Beach and we are gonna celebrate my mom's birthday by going to Joe's Crab Shack. Now when we did a tour of Daytona Beach, we said we need to do a video at Joe's Crab Shack right there on the pier. Today's the day. That's where she decided to go for her birthday. So we're gonna do a review of it. Let's go check it out. Now, Joe's Crab Shacks are everywhere. We actually had one in Missouri. Probably not as good as having one right on the ocean uh, because there is no ocean in Missouri. But this one is by far probably their most famous Joe's Crab Shack, in my opinion anyway, because it's the one out on the pier. And I feel like a lot of people come to Joe's Crab Shack here in Daytona. So really what we're doing is showing you exactly what this one's like out here on the pier. We won't really be able to see the water because it is pitch black out right now. Um, but we can kind of show you what the weight would be um, on a Monday night in, uh, in November. On a Monday night in November, we can show you what the weight is going to be. It is a little chilly out here too. Again, we showed you a tour of this area. So we're just gonna show you the restaurant. Um, walk up here to the pier, head that way. Gonna walk up these steps up to the pier. And then if you then go down these steps, you'll be at the pier. All right, here we go. Joe's Crab Shack. Eat at Joe's. I have not been to a Joe's in a while, probably in at least three-ish years because the last time we ate at a Joe's was in Missouri. So let's see what all they got. My parents ask earlier if they take reservations and they do not take reservations at the Joe's Crab Shack. So uh, off times would probably be the best time to come. I'm sure in the summer for like lunch or dinner, it's probably very, very crowded. Unfortunately, again, it's hard to see the water because it is pitch black out here, but there is water right there. Looks like there's some outdoor seating. Oh, you can even sit up top. Hmm. Now I'm hoping there's not much of a wait and I, I can't imagine on a Monday night in November, late November, that there would be much of a wait, but you never know. Some seating along this side. I don't know their hours. Let's see if we can find their hours. Restrooms for Joe's customers only. Whoa, look at this big shark right here. Uh, I don't see, I don't see hours. And as we enter, the roof right here. A little bit of a gift shop as you enter. Uh, the bar in front of us here, some t-shirts. Now available stone crab in half pound and whole pound. This is where they take your name. And here is the bar. It does seem still pretty busy in here for off season, but uh, we are gonna go this way. There are restrooms in here somewhere, not exactly sure where, but they did say they had restrooms. Yeah, it's actually pretty busy for uh, it being an off time, but luckily we didn't have to wait at all. Oh, restrooms are right here in front of us. Off this way. Looks like we are heading over to this table right here. Now they do have like little uh, picnic tables. I bet they overlook the water, but uh, drink at Joe's over there. This is what it looks like in here. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I'm going to talk very loud over this because we got the music playing, but here are some of the non-alcoholic kind of souvenir cup drinks. Uh, look, they do a little shark at the bottom of them. That's pretty cool. Down here, shine on. That's neat. On this side, we have take home souvenir glass. I'm guessing these are the, uh, yeah, these are the alcoholic drinks on this side. Grab life by the pint. Mason jar madness. Wow, look at these down here too. They've got a lot of good looking drinks. They've got this new King Classic Steam Pot, 50 bucks. And then only here for a limited time. A watermelon daiquiri, caramel apple crusher, campsite margarita. And here is the drink menu. So again, I'm gonna talk over everything here. Look at that drink, that looks really nice. Maybe I can do two pages at once. So therapy. Pina culata. 
turn the page, sip into something special, grab light by the pint. We saw that earlier. Um, the mason jar drinks, mules, like a good mule. Maybe you can see it better if I do this. Over here, ice cold beer. Put a cork in it so you got your wines. Over here, just all of their liquor. Non-alcoholic, I did see this passion fruit palmer. I wonder if there's free refills on that, I'll have to ask. Um, Coke products, again, these same drinks we saw earlier. I'll get the music stopped for a second. Uh, desserts, look at all the desserts. Look at that campfire s'mores. And then souvenirs, they are a Landry's location. We just ate at the Rainforest Cafe, which was Landry's, so they also have, uh, this is also Landry's. Look at the drink menu. They gave us this little like menu, so while they catch these new items while they last, every Wednesday, snow crab boil, every Thursday, land and sea, only during happy hour, shrimp boil at bar only. On this side, we've got a little bit more. We've got the King Classic. Let me just kind of go through this here. You can get a look at that. And then now we can jump into the actual menu. There's a lot going on with all these menus here. Um, Shack Snacks. By the way, there was a free refill on that Arnold Palmer, so I went ahead and went with that. The Little Crab means uh, Shack Favorites. Chopped and souped. Over here, uh, Sealicious Sensations. Sorry, I know it's really loud in here. We've got Joe's Famous Combos. There's a look at the captain's plate. Then if we open up the menu, we've got steam pots, served with fresh corn, red potatoes, and hard-boiled egg. That's interesting. Pick your flavors. Crab buckets down here. Uh, pick your flavor. Add clusters and more to any entree. There's some of the prices down there. Over here, we have soap, fish decated play on words there honey mustard glazed salmon wow that's interesting who can't who you call in shrimp so different shrimp um, I think I did see they had New England clam chowder over here all right uh, I already showed you that and then on the back stay on shore there stay on shore again that crab means one of their favorites surf and sandwiches seasides and I think that's it. So I'm going to look over the menu and see what I'm going to get. It's kind of nice that they explain the different types of crab here because I never really know what is what. So normally we go with the steam pot. We get the steam pot all the time. But since this is a new item right here, this honey mustard glazed salmon, we're going to switch it up a bit. We're going to share that. And then, of course, I've got to try the New England clam chowder, just the cup, just to see what it's like. I haven't gotten crab in a while, but I've noticed prices for crab have gone up drastically. I remember when, I was actually talking about this at work today, when you could get all you could eat crab for like $30 and we used to think that was expensive. I think down here it's like $60 to $100. So the fact that this is, you know, like $52 and stuff, I guess that's really not bad, but that's just so weird. So I think we'll pass up and just do the uh, salmon. Here is the Passion Arnold Palmer. And then you got some sort of drink, but you get to keep, look at this. I'm the captain, I make ship happen. That does say ship, uh, but you keep the glass, she said. That's a nice glass. Here is the passion, Arnie Palmy. Oh, that's good. This is passion? Yeah, that's really good. Holy cow, that's very good. Oh, they just yelled, look out everyone, we got two sharks in the water and then everybody just screamed super loud. <laughs> That's funny. It looks like pretty creamy chowder, so I'm excited to give that a try. Here is the clam chowder. So that is nice and creamy. I would say it's, um, it's up there with a good taste. It's not better than Celebration Town Tavern though, that is still the best. Um, and it's also, let's say kind of equivalent with the uh, let's do a main lobster roll that we did in Mount Dora. I think that one was a little bit more runny, but the taste was better. This is a little bit more creamier. The taste might not be as good, so they kind of equal out. Yeah, Timber agrees, it's, it's good. Um, 
sometimes you can get some pretty bad ones, but that, that one's good. So they got a little camera person walking around taking pictures. Here is a look at the shrimp sampler. That looks tasty. Here's a look at the grilled tilapia. That looks good. And then here's a look at that honey, honey glaze, honey mustard glazed salmon. And that looks good. And then we got a side of mashed potatoes, which look good. So we're gonna give this a try. Now they do put your forks and knives already on the table in this bucket. Since it is very loud in here and music um, is playing, I'm just gonna show, I'm not gonna show you me eating individual item. I'm just gonna take a bite of all the items and afterwards I can tell you, or maybe even outside go over what we thought was good or not, what not, but it's too loud to try to do that. So it's got a very interesting taste because it doesn't have teriyaki, but it's trying to be teriyaki. So it's a glazed honey mustard with Dijon. I don't know if those mix too well together. I would almost rather just honey mustard or teriyaki. So you know we normally don't ever say anything about food, but um, unfortunately the salmon uh, was not cooked all the way and uh, we let them know that. So I don't know if they'll take it off the ticket or not. We're really not hungry enough to try to get a whole another one here, but um, just so you know, the salmon actually wasn't cooked fully. So I did try some of my dad's shrimp and it was good and the mashed potatoes were good too. My mom said hers was good, but again, uh, the salmon was a bust on this one. We are heading outside. We will give you our final thoughts when we get outside. Um, we'll just uh, give you the summary of everything. And just another look at that bar. They've got plenty of TVs up here too, so. We are heading out. It's probably pretty chilly out here though. Right next to the water. Yeah, it's a little chilly. All right, that was our trip out to Joe's Crab Shack here in Daytona Beach. Wanted to give our summary and our thoughts. So number one is wouldn't come back. Unfortunately, just wasn't that great. I will say the tea was excellent. That was some of the best tea I've had, but it also took pretty long time and uh, they didn't do anything about the salmon. In all fairness, they did say they could make us another one, but after we had already eaten some stuff and then you already eat something kind of raw, you really don't want any more of it. Um, there wasn't a manager that came out. There wasn't there wasn't a discount on the on the bill, which the bill was one hundred and twelve dollars, not including the tip. Uh, I just there's there's other plenty of other places. That's exactly what I was going to say. There's plenty of other seafood places around here that would be better than this Joe's Crab Shack. Now it is very busy, so I'm sure not every meal is bad. But in our opinion, wouldn't come back to this location for that price. Uh, would definitely go somewhere else. Chowder was chowder was good. But uh, I mean, my parents said their meal was okay. It, it tasted fine, but unfortunately a salmon was a no-go. Definitely don't wanna get sick eating something raw. Other than that, I think that really does it. So for, unfortunately, sometimes we get bad reviews and this was one of them. Not everything's uh, good all the time, but we're getting ready to go into a dark area. So I'm gonna end the video here. So with that being said, that does it for tonight. Thanks for watching.